Hi, welcome to LEGO Lord of the Rings The Battle of Pelennor Fields free play walkthrough. We're going to grab 10 mini kits, 3 treasures and a blacksmith recipe which will allow us to get studs times 6. You'll want to play this in free play obviously, I think I just mentioned that, sorry. Uh, and you'll need to make sure you've got Orc Berserker who's available outside Helm's Deep. Now right at the beginning head immediately to the right on your horse to smash that box open. You're going to need to get 3 of those boxes in total. And if you don't get them, uh, it's easiest to restart um, and just play this bit again. Now the second one is here on the left, so the first one was on the right, the second one's on the left, and then you can just carry on quite happily past all the oily fans. For a little while you'll pass those two and then you'll pass a group of four before you have to worry. And you'll, When you come to a purple stud on the left, immediately head to the right afterwards, go up this ramp for mini kit number one. That blue coin is because I've already got it. Then there, just on the right, was the second, uh, or the third box, sorry, to get your second mini kit. And then through here, you'll have probably picked this up on story mode, that blue coin is the third mini kit in this horse section. So if you haven't got it by the time you hit that blue coin, if you haven't got all three, it's easiest to restart. Anyway, then you'll go to fight the Nazgul bird, and I'm really sorry I can never remember its name. But turn into Legolas and shoot these two targets here. And the dude, the orc with the glowing shield, will drop down. So kill him, steal a shield, and that is treasure number one. Then you want to turn to Sam, and you'll see a little plant just by where I'm fighting there on the left. I'm going to go over it to in a second. Over to it in a second. Sorry, there. I've already cleared some stuff out to make it a bit clearer. But plant that plant, and you'll get a little herb out. And you won't get the second part of this herb until you've defeated the Nazgul bird, so don't worry about that too much. But I'm just grabbing it now because it's there. Anyway, head, 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 <laughs> then head down to the foreground by this horse that's fallen over, and there's a whole bunch of blocks that you can smash up. So smash all them and you'll be able to build a little lever. There we go, come on, you can do it Sam. Uh, and then jump on that, and this one's kind of, I like this, there's lots of weird little things to do, but the problem is there's dudes in the way who are constantly on your case, so it makes it a bit frustrating. So kill them, and then jump on the lever, and one of the other guys will jump on with you, assuming you're playing single player, and that will lift the horse up and give you mini kit number four. And that's all you can do for now, so go ahead and kill the Nazgul bird to bring out the Witch King. There we go, chop its head off and sit through the little uh, cutscene. I quite like this, with them edging behind each other. <laughs> and then once he's out, ignore him for the time being. Go ahead and grab all those coins and smash stuff up and build the uh, bricks for later, but then turn into Sam and dig this plant pile up. Or rather, plant this plant. Grow this plant? I don't know the proper terminology. Let's say grow this plant. And grab that herb and combine it with the other one to make a medical kit. Then you're going to want to go to the dig pile in the opposite direction to which I'm running at the moment, but I'll get there in a second. It's over here. And dig that up to reveal an orange handle, which you can then fit onto this. You build it and fit it onto that cart there. Then turn into a strongman. I'm going to use the Orc Berserker. Watch out for the Witch King swinging his uh, Morning Star. It's got a bit of a splash effect on it, but pull that... Uh, orange handle and you'll reveal this guy and then go back to Sam and give him the medical kit. I get there eventually, I'm sorry for the delay. Here we go. And he will, thank you very much, pick up his sword and shield and go back to fight and leave you a mini kit for his troubles. There we go, or for your troubles, I should say. Then uh, turn into Gimli and smash this cracked rock for a mini kit number six. And then you can just go ahead and kill the Witch King. So stand on the little platforms, encourage him to hit you, and there we go, there's one. And then smash him in the face. Yeah, that's the way. So there's three of those to do in total, and then you'll get the little cutscene where you have to attack him from behind. Here we go, and Eowyn says, I'm no man, and pulls off a helmet. Yay! One dead Witch King. And then it's off to the Oilyphant field, where you're going to be Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli, but obviously you can change to whoever you want to be. So I'm just going to run around and grab all the coins, and then you want to head into the foreground towards where the save point is, because this is where all the action is. So switch to Gimli first of all, and smash this cracked block, and you'll free this guy who gives you a mini kit. and there's also uh, a treasure there? No, there isn't a treasure there yet, sorry. Um, then 
You kill off all the guys. This is another one where guys are going to be coming at you constantly. Change into the Orc Berserker and smash these two Mithril blocks. One will reveal some water, and if you've got the Mithril Bottomless Bucket, I've got a video on that if you want to check on it, you can uh, make this mission a lot, lot easier. So you might want to consider grabbing that first. But dig this up, and you will get uh, some rope or some bandages or something, uh, some material anyway, which you're going to combine with an item later. Dig here. and grow this plant and you'll get the golden carrot which is the first of your treasures or the second of your treasures sorry after the glowing uruk shield there we go there's the golden carrot and that's a quest item so is the uruk shield both of those are, we're going to drop off later anyway turn into pippin and grab the bucket if you don't have the bottomless bucket and then head over to the left first of all and put this fire out watch out for the guy behind you and you'll find here if you've got a guy with a sword you can switch to him so that you can keep the bucket active and just switch between them it's going to be much quicker that way. But there's a mini kit, mini kit number eight there, and there's also a treasure that I missed, but I'll go back and grab that later. That's treasure number three over there. Anyway, go fill up the water again, and then head to the right where there are two fires to put out. But they're right close to each other. Well, they're basically the same fire. You've just got to put it out from two different places. So see, he sits there. See here, I'm switching to the guy with the sword. I think it's Mary. Um, and just fighting guys and then switching back to Bucket Boy. But over here, put this fire out and then smash all this up for mini kit number 9. There we go. And then you've just got one more mini kit and one treasure to go. So I'm going to go smash crazy. Uh, there is the other part of the bandages, and I picked it up with the wrong guy. So what you want to do is re-choose that from your uh, menu item and then push B or uh, the button to drop it, the same button as pick up, and combine them and you'll turn them into crutches. And what you want to do is go over here, smash, uh, set a fire with Sam. There we go. And you can, while Sam's setting the fire, you can switch characters and kill the guy. And then this guy will get burnt out, which is quite lucky, and give him the crutches and he'll be off on his way and you'll get mini kit number 10. And then I'm just going to run over back to the left. You should have ten mini kits, uh, two treasures, and a uh, blacksmith recipe at this point. I'm just going to go grab the other treasure, which is on the floor over here. So you could have grabbed that much earlier. I apologize for missing it. But that is the flower hat. This one doesn't involve a quest. But then go ahead and kill the oilifants. Uh, you either need a bow archer to shoot at their legs, or someone with a vorpal blade uh, who can kill Morgul bricks. So deal with the elephants, there's two and then three, and I've got boss disguises on, so they've got pretty shoes and a little cap on. But you should know how to deal with these guys by now. Uh, that's the way to deal with them if you're Legolas. Uh, if you're um, Legolas, yeah, and this is the way to deal with them if you are Aragorn. There you go. And so I've skipped ahead and cut out the other three, because who wants to watch that? But that's the end of the mission. So there we go. Uh, battering Ram is the mini kit there. And then we've got the Flower Hat, the Golden Carrot, and the Glowing Shield. And the Golden Carrot and Glowing Shield are going to be quest items. And the Mithril Top Hat, which is also a quest item for, a, for the Red Brick, studs times six. So craft that at the Blacksmith's in Brie. And then take it to... Where are we going? Here, to Edoras. And you'll see the icon flashing already, the little top hat there. And it's right by the map stone. Head over there to this lovely lady and give her the top hat. Oh, She'll be very grateful. You so and you can buy your times six studs for uh, four million. Now, if you've already got the times two and the times four, you'll now have a multiplier of 48. And those studs are going to be coming in quicker than you know how to spend them. There we go. So even just smashing little things up, you're going to get so many coins in such a short time. It's easy to pick up 50, 100,000 in no time flat. Anyway, off to Hobbiton, Hobbiton, <laughs> Hobbiton to drop off the golden carrot. There's a lady whose ra who's rabbit likes golden carrots of all things, although I imagine it must have pretty strong teeth. So set that up and follow the thing there. I think there was a silver padlock on that door, but by this point you should be able to break whatever's in your way. Then we're heading to Minus Morgul to hand in the glowing Uruk shield. So transport there, and the location that you want to head to is up here to the northwest, sort of by Osgiliath. There you go. So set your marker, 
and follow the trail of glowing studs. And it's in, it's not inside there at all, it's up here. Drop down there. And into this area here where you'll find him tucked behind uh, that little wall. And you'll get a silver brick for your troubles. Um, while I'm here, I thought I might as well show you how to deal with these five statues. I had a bit of trouble with them, so uh, this is how I dealt with them. Legolas up to here, and then you can shoot four of them from this location. So you can get that one from there, and then that one down on the bottom left. You can get that one to the left here, to shoot it three times. And probably with the Mithril Cluster Bow, you can do it even more quickly. Then you can shoot that one in the distance from there, and then all you have to do is drop down and get the fifth, and you should have plenty of time. And there's the fifth one there. And then simply turn around and climb up the little grabby bars here, and you can snag your silver brick. Anyway, hope that was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments or visit the forums. Uh, see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.